Hi guys, so I know I've been promising a Notion tour for a while and I did a video a while back with my digital reset and I was gonna put my Notion tour in that but I just had too much to say so I wanted to make it its own video. So I've been using Notion for about three years now and I adore it, it is so good, I track everything on there from work, content creation, podcast, to reading, writing, creative stuff, sims, video game stuff, personal stuff, if we're hosting, trips, literally everything. I cannot describe, I do everything on Notion. But I did a big Notion renovation probably in 2021 when I was a student and I redid it and made it perfect for student me. But I was still using that student Notion up until what, like October this year, when I started realizing I really need to fix it because it was a notion that was good, but it was set up for me when I had different priorities and I needed to update it to actually fit my priorities now rather than just like randomly dragging me around and trying to change things from that old notion. It's a super aesthetic, minimal, simple Notion. I really like it, it's not too complex. I will mention it throughout, but I do actually have a couple of Notion pages that I do share on my Etsy, if you're interested in them. It's my goal setting page and my reading tracker, but I'll get to those when we get to it. Okay, so starting off, we have my Notion homepage. I also love, if you look at the icons for all the pages, I think in the past year, Notion's actually started doing their own icons. I used to upload my own icon photos, but I love using the Notion ones. They're built in and they're super easy, so I've uploaded updated all my pages to use the in-app Notion icons. So on my homepage, we just have some pictures and different areas of my life. So we have lifestyle stuff, which is my goals and my resets. We also have a little embedded quote widget. So I'll show you this. When I reload the page, the quote changes. Every single time I reload the page, it's all just inspirational quotes and I love it. So I've got one from Abraham Lincoln right now, but I love reading the different quotes and it keeps me inspired and thinking about different things. I also have an area for writing and things I'm learning. So whether that's taking like Skillshare courses or books I'm reading, nonfiction, I can put that all in there. On the other side, I have my reading page and I also have a weather tracker widget. Then I have my work section and that has my YouTube stuff, podcast stuff, stuff about TikTok, and then just any other work related stuff I might have. Then I have personal, I have this house board which is stuff I share between me and my boyfriend Jake, often stuff to do with like visas or stuff going on in the home or when we host people to come over if we're planning like Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving or stuff like that, that's all in there. I then have entertainment, this is where I mentioned earlier I track some like sims related stuff. I also have a bunch of places to go in Ottawa. I'll get in depth on a lot of these pages in a second but first of all I love to do really cool things in whatever city I live in. Of course I love Ottawa so much. Much. And then also, if you follow me on TikTok, I do a lot of things to do in Ottawa related content, so that's really good for that. And then down the bottom, you can see I have my morning and night routine. I don't follow these exactly, these are kind of just like ideals and almost like a morning menu if you've heard about that. Things I like to do, but I don't have to do every single thing every single night or morning. But I like having these written out as reminders. And I really like this kind of grid system I have set up. I think it looks really cute. And now let's dive into some of the pages. I think I'm gonna jump into my goals first. So at the top, I have a vision board. This is still my vision board from 2023. I need to update it. And I have just hidden my goals because some of them are private and I tell you all about them in my goal setting video, but I don't want to tell you about all of them, you know. But I have my goals page and then if you scroll down, I have my breakdowns into monthly goals and I have another quote in bed. But I'm actually gonna jump over to my templates and show you my goal setting template because I actually sell this as a template. That one you saw is like my one where I'm kind of working on it. You saw a bit where I'm like insert pictures because I want to insert some of my vision board stuff. But this is the goal setting template if you guys like this that you can get on my Etsy. I have all the monthly goal breakdowns in here so you can break down your entire year throughout the year and do monthly resets, break down habits you want to do every month, goals you want to do every month and things on your monthly to-do list. Then obviously we have the goals. We have everything here from like all your goals and then categorizing them into goals you're working on, goals you completed goals you've not started and then obviously we have the goals area here and if I open up this goal each goal has a template page within it so if you press new goal it'll actually add those things like new goal status progress whatever and then I have some things to make your goal setting really perfect and so you can actually achieve your goals and this has really worked for me in last year this is a template I actually sort of worked on myself and then it was only when I came to the new year that I was like I should share this with you guys it has a little bit to talk about your why behind your goal because every goal should have a motivation and a why behind it that is personal more to you, a place to talk about manifestation, visualize yourself achieving that goal, and then a way to break down your goals into actions. The actions are broken into a Kanban board, so then you can 
drag and track the actions to do with each goal. And if we go back up to the top, we have types. So I've put a bunch of types in there that your goals might align with. Personally, I think my goals this year are split into personal, career, hobby, writing, and travel. But there are all these different types that might align with you and you can always add more just by typing them in. Then we also have the progress bar. So this for me has to do with the Kanban board down below. So what I do is I have these three actions or more or less, depending on the goal, you can decide. And then say I drag action one into complete. And then I've completed one third of the actions towards this goal, which would mean my progress is at 33%. So up here, it's actually just a number category and it's out of 10 and it turns into a progress bar. If I am 33% done with my goal, I can put 3.3 in here, which I'll show you. And then it turns into a progress bar. And what you can do is basically for each action I complete, I give myself one point. If it's in progress, I give myself half a point. And then you just count up the points. So say it's like, I have one in progress, one complete and one not started. Then I have 1.5 divided by the total amount of actions, which is three. So I'm 50% done and I put that number up here in progress, if that makes sense. And now I just need to go clear all of that. <laughs> and then something else cool is I have a couple sorts in here. So if we do a new goal, this one you've done a third of, this one you've done you know, you're almost done with it. This one you just started. So if we go into working on, it actually sorts them by progress. And then if we go into completed, so if I add some types to these, say that is that and that and that, you can see in here how they sort by type. So I have all these kind of things in the goals page. I absolutely love this page. I won't spend so much time on every page, but I am so proud of this page and it is so good for actually achieving your goals. I love when a page actually helps you rather than just is there for you to track on, if that makes sense. While we're back on the homepage, I also wanted to show you this little time widget I have down here. This is just such a cute minimalistic widget. I love it. By default, it is black, which I don't mind the look of because I've been going for kind of a neutral theme and black is like a neutral, but you can also change it to a white down here, which I think suits the theme best. I'm gonna show you my YouTube homepage. I have in here my videos where I plan out all my videos and I've recently turned that into a database. I'll jump on there so you can see it. I have all my upcoming videos videos, then I sort them by status in a Kanban board, then I have my content calendar, my filming calendar, and all my past videos. This took so long, but it was so worth it, and now my content sort of planning is so streamlined. Then I also have a big Just Start base of all my video ideas and a sponsorship start base, which I won't show you guys. And then you can also see down here, I have a bookmark of the one article that's ever been written about me. It was sort of back when I was a student YouTuber and I have that saved because I love it. <laughs> I'll jump into my podcast page as well. I've made little custom headers for all of these. So you can see my podcast one is like obviously podcast theme and some of them are my pictures and some of them are pictures I got from Pinterest, but I've made all custom headers for every single page, which I won't talk about all the time, but you'll see as we go through the page. So I have an embed of basically, I think it's called my RSS feed, but it's just like the feed my podcast is on. So I have that embedded into my Notion. And then I just have the database of planning all my podcast episodes. As you can see, the ones I'm showing you now are all ones that are already posted. On my podcast, I'm posting a bunch of New Year's kind of content. I'm doing a New Year's mini series. So if you're interested in self-improvement, living your dream life, all that kind of stuff, you might want to check it out. I think travel would be a good one. Oh, actually I know the travel one's really good. This is my travel page. Up the top, my custom cover is all pictures of places I've been. So we have Bondi in Sydney, that is Jasper, Sydney Harbour, that is a frozen lake in the Rocky Mountains, Seoul, South Korea, and then I think that's the Dominican Republic there. Such pretty photos, but they're all photos I've taken over my travels. And then I also made this little custom quote that says, grateful for where I am, excited about where I'm going. But you can see I've got like the place where I'm going and in there, there is like a trip planner page. Then I have these little emojis, which say like vibe, and I have a little vibe like key down the bottom, which I'll talk about. Status, obviously that's if it's coming up, if it's in progress or if it's done. And then I also have a total days bit, which to be fair, I know I'm doing a notion tour, but I am no expert. I find the formulas really hard to use and I need my boyfriend to set that up because he does software development and I don't understand it. But when I show you my reading page, I'll show you what that is. It's basically a formula that when you input the dates, calculates the amount of days. You can see what I call the vibe guide and it's basically like a key for the little emojis up there. So this is just a fun thing. I kind of put some emojis as like a select thing to say what type of trip it's gonna be so if it's a ski trip or if it's a cruise and then I've also made some little Polaroids of different trips we've been on down below so like I said we've got the Caribbean, Sydney, Korea, when I went to Cambridge all that kind of stuff and then I think the last page I want to jump into is my reading page so I'm gonna show you 
my 2023 reading page, which is a little bit more messy. And then I'm gonna show you the reading page, which I sell on my Etsy reading let's jump into it and i have an entire video going through my reading notion in depth so i won't go too into depth right now because it could take an entire video to do that but i will link that video but you can see i have here a giant database to track all of my reading so i have book titles author genre author gender target age ethnicity nationality representation published date format publisher amount of pages, date started, days it took me to read, ignore that that first book took me like over 200 days to read. And then I have like star rating, progress, etc etc and then right down the bottom i have a bunch of information that helps me rate my books but i also track how many books i've read how many different authors i've read um different ethnicities different nationalities i've read from so like authors from different countries how many days on average it takes me to read a book it's about 11 days except it's not because i have a couple non-fiction books that really skew the average rereads i've done three this year and then i have some different like averages and stuff so i'm gonna go into the reading template to show you guys the details and this is what my 2024 one is going to look like it's a lot cleaner but it's this whole thing here with like a guide and where you can put your reading goals and a rating system and it just makes sure all of your books are really cohesive and you can track your reading all in one place and there are a bunch of different things like you can sort by just your favorite books or books that you're currently reading books you've dnf'd or the books you've read and it makes it so easy to track your reading i just love this page okay but i think that is all for my notion tour i don't know if this has been a bit chaotic it kind of feels like it because i'm just showing you guys like the inside of my brain basically but i love my notion i'm so proud of some of those pages and they have taken me years to develop and i've really liked this renovation i'm so proud of it and I love all the aesthetic photos. It just makes me so happy every time I open it up. So I really hope you guys like this. If you have any questions about any of the pages, any way I do things, just leave them down below because like I'm not quite sure what to explain because there's just so much going on. But I will answer all questions you guys leave down below. Like I said, my goal setting page and my reading page, you can check out on my Etsy and you can just download it and I've made it for you. I hope you like this video. I hope you like my notion. And if you did like this video, please do like, please do subscribe because I'd love to see you guys next time. And just thank you again so much for watching.